In your hometown, you probably have a favorite place to hang out. For some people in Yankton, that place is Cozy's Bar. Last summer, Kel Ann News showed you the story of how this bar got back in the family after 18 years. Kristen Kozak's bought back her grandpa's bar. My grandpa owned it. He drew in a lot of the locals, and um, I know it's a new generation, but there's a lot of new people out here and new housing development, so I'm hoping to do the same. Now a year later, Kristen says business is better than ever, better than she could ever have imagined. In tonight's Eye on Kel Land, Sarah McDonald takes you to Yankton and explains how this business continues to have success. The laughs are loud and the energy is high this afternoon at Cozy's. This is the 5 o'clock crew. This group is what some might call regulars at Cozy's. But for people like Chris Hatcheski, coming here is more than just a place to pass time. This is one of my favorite places to hang out. It's a fun place in the afternoon. We have a lot of laughs, a lot of jokes, a lot of fun people show up. Bar owner Kristen Kozak now has a year in the books for running her own business. And it's better than she expected. It's been way better than we ever expected. We get a lot of support from the community. Um, all the locals in the area have been really supportive. We see new faces, old faces from when I grew up here. She believes there are a few unique things keeping people coming back again and again. We try to have bands often. Um, we try to change things up a bit. We did the goldfish races a while back and we got a huge response from that. Um, one of our locals, Heather Janice, um, she makes some really good fry bread. So we thought we would try it out at Cozy's and we had a huge response from it. Um, People love them. Another thing you can do at Cozy's is stop by for a shake a day. All you need is a dollar. And you just roll the dice and hope for five of kind to win the pot. Better luck next time. Plus, instead of happy hour, they do what they call Bozak hour. We do Bozak hour instead of happy hour because a dear friend of mine, Spencer Bowes, ended up with colon cancer when he was 40 years old and he died from it. Uh, we were really good friends. We went out all the time. We hung together out on the lake, out in the boats and stuff like that. So in, in his remembrance, that's why we do it. Kristen's grandpa, who opened the bar in 1972 and ran it for 28 years, is proud of what his granddaughter has accomplished. And the bar here is really good, really good. I can't believe it. It's really, really something, boy. I'll tell you, Kristen doesn't... He's done okay. Everybody just positive comments all the way through. It's just unbelievable. She's got a great help. She's got great staff that's been with her for a year now. And I just see it getting better in the future here. And Gary says it's fun to see new and old faces come into the bar. People that come in that you've seen over the years, you haven't seen, and then they come in again after 18 years of being absent, and the new friends and faces that we've seen. Uh, people stopping in from all over. A place Hatchick C says will be a place she will continue to make memories. I think it's the atmosphere and the friendliness of all the people. We, they make everyone feel welcome and include them in the conversations, and nobody's ever left out in this bar. With Ion Killaland, I'm Sarah McDonald. Cozy's Bar plans to do some more expanding, for example, putting in a sand volleyball course and building a beer garden patio. For more information on the bar, we provide a link under this story at kelloland.com.